Subscribe to Film Companion for your film fix. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Gunjan Saxena the Kargil Girl based on the life of Flight Lieutenant Gunjan Saxena is about India's first female Air Force pilot in combat. The trailer which dropped on August 1st is in subtle about the sexism Gunjan faced. She's late to class because there's no place to change. When she asks about a woman's toilet, she's told there isn't one. We see flashes of a rousing story about a woman who fights her own family, society, patriarchy, and ultimately the enemy in battle and emerges victorious. This is a story that needs to be told. I found the trailer moving and inspiring. When I tweeted that the film looked solid, I was instantly trolled. Why? Because the film has been produced by Dharma Productions and it stars Janvi Kapoor as Gunjan Saxena. I was called a Dharma stooge and much worse. Over the last 2 months since the tragic death of Sushant Singh Rajput the conversation around nepotism in the film industry has come into sharp focus. In the trial by Twitter and television channels Karan Johar has been identified as the poster boy for the insider outsider caste system that plagues the film industry. There have been several calls to boycott Dharma Productions because one faction believes that it will bring a sense of justice and closure to the family, friends and fans of Sushant who was of course an outsider. The case is sub judice. The authorities are still determining what happened. The circumstances surrounding Sushant's untimely passing are heartbreaking. The ensuing conversation on nepotism, entertainment journalism, bad business practices and entitled actors is necessary and important. Perhaps this along with the pandemic will force introspection, disruption and ultimately change across sectors. We know that there is much to be fixed within the industry. We were all in ways big and small complicit in this tragedy. We all understand that each one of us can do better. But what happens when you bring external circumstances to bear on a film? When you hate on Gunjan Saxena the Kargil girl for merely existing, you effectively negate the work of hundreds of people. The film has been directed by debutant Sharan Sharma. Among other jobs listed on his IMDb page is assistant director on Ye Jawani Hai Diwani in 2013. So he's been working towards becoming a director since at least then. Gunjan Saxena was announced in December 2018. There must have been several months of writing and incubating the project before that. This film, like most films, is the result of a minimum of 2 years of work. When Sharan was shooting, especially those aerial shots of Gunjan going into combat, he might have imagined how that would play out on a big screen. how the scale of the action would help to immerse the audience in Gunjan's journey and give them a sense of her valor what she risked and what it takes to put your life on the line that did not come to pass on august 12 the film will premiere on netflix as per the streaming giant's global policy the trailer identifies the film as a netflix original there are no credits unless you actively search for it there is no way to know that sharan directed it or that it's been co-written by nikhil mehrotra who also co-wrote chichore and dangal Sharan, Nikhil and the rest of the film's team will not experience the thrill of seeing their names on a big screen. It's impossible for us the audience to understand the disappointment of that. As Robert De Niro playing Frank Sheeran in another Netflix film The Irishman so memorably put it, it is what it is. We don't know if Gunjan Saxena the Kargil girl is any good. But even if you buy into the specious argument that Karan and Janvi are responsible for propagating an unfair system, you do know that they didn't make the film by themselves. To pull it down without even seeing it is to diminish the hard work and sweat of the entire unit, which includes the spot dada who served water on that set and the focus puller who worked tirelessly, and Pankaj Tripathi and Vineet Kumar Singh who also act in the film. Both are outsiders who've had long and arduous journeys to success. I didn't know Sushant well but I can't imagine that he would approve of this sort of takedown. In 2017 when Sanjay Leela Bansali was attacked while shooting Padmavat, Sushant spoke vociferously against it and even dropped his last name as a mark of protest. When he was asked in a red carpet interview about Padmavat, he said, "Achhi kahani hogi." To sabhi ki. Exactly. Let a film sink or swim on its own merits. Boycotts and hate will not help to make the industry a more equitable place. What will help is encouraging and patronizing good art and good artists irrespective of who they are and where they come from. Let's talk about what's within the frame, the rest is noise.